worst couples ever. Get out of my house! I'm calling the neighbors. What's going on guys, Shy Clips here once again, and this is some mod clips of the worst couples I can find. The like was my favorite clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. And this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically we have this man over here, I guess he's gambling at the casino, ended up winning a lot of money, and dumps his girlfriend during the win. She absolutely starts going crazy on him. And to be honest, it's kind of typical for this to happen, I'm not gonna lie. But you can't blame him for that because we've seen countless women dump their mans for other rich men. So you're really gonna blame this dude for dumping her when he get his money up i don't think so when you hit it big at the casino and don't share it with your girl This all on there. Now you'd think being in a casino they have up security, like there's not a cop to be seen anywhere. Well, they're just taking a really damn long time to pull up. But just imagine if the rules were switched and a man was attacking a woman. I feel like everybody would be on him in seconds. But since it's not that case, nobody really cares, right? A love-hate relationship, man. Hey, right here. Right there. And this next one, this is absolutely disgusting. We have a woman over here sharing her fatherless behavior as always. And I guess she did some crazy thing in the past, but she with her ex's sister. Yeah, you guys heard me correctly. This story gets pretty insane, but just keep watching. The last question is so funny. I do have an ex that like, I was much younger, but I never told him that like me and his sister. You his sister? Yeah, yeah. But I was young. Like, yeah, so we and he never knew. So this day, I don't think unless she told him now, but like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So were you like into her too at the time? She came on to me and I've never I never was with a girl then, but um but she was really pretty and like she was so sweet to me all the time and I kinda just felt like I'm like in the family now for real. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> literally. Yeah, seriously. No, I really took it like that. So yeah. Was him and his sister close? They were cool. They were like brothers and sisters, you know? It wasn't like they were like enemies mm -hmm. or anything, yeah. Did she have good and this next one, I really just wanted to add this in, goes on to show how people will just do anything for clout, including doing things behind celebrities' backs just to get a few clicks on Instagram. Basically, Kai had a girl over, and I guess when he went to the bathroom or went to go get her a drink, she decided to record his room just because she knew something would happen. Story time? Like what? Now, all because he didn't want to do anything with her and he didn't invite her to a party, she decided to expose him on social media for doing some crazy things. But he decides to call her during the stream and literally prove her wrong completely. I just I just muted the stream, so I'm on some one-on-one shit right now. What did you do? Like, why did you post a TikTok of you in my room? I'm gonna continue saying what the fuck I just said. You did that shit for fucking attention. Wait, what did I do for attention? Right now, you did that shit for fucking attention. That's just Wait, you just, but you, but you just posted you in my room. Okay, I posted that because you're a fucking, you're a fucking bum, basically. Oh, damn. For what? You're just dirty and you're just grimy as fuck. The fuck? Wait, wait, why, wait, is it because, wait, because you didn't come to the pool, because of the party, because of the party? Like, I didn't, because it was filled and shit, you want to come to the party, you couldn't come? And treat people. Damn, so you wait, but you but you but you was on my phone trying to get inside the party and I wasn't replying because it because it got too much people and then you were mad because I didn't think I'm a bum though. You see? Thank you, that's all I needed, bro. 
Yo, so can y'all clip that, put it together, stitch that motherfucker, and do their thing? And this next one is probably one of the saddest cheating stories I have ever heard of. Basically, we have this girl over here. She ended up talking to a guy for two years, gave him her kidney. I guess he ended up trying to bribe her for it, or I don't know, like just manipulate her into giving a kidney. I'm not sure how a man does that. Let's just say it worked out. Just for her to get cheated on at the end, I feel super bad. Donated my kidney to my boyfriend. Then he did the unthinkable. He was on dialysis for two years before we met, seeing how he had to connect to a machine every night for nine hours i just couldn't sit there and watch him suffer he pretty much showed me the brochure of who to call if i was interested in donating to him i probably should have saw that as red flag i got tested we were a match the surgery took about five hours i had an incision right below my bikini line and the two dots that were used for the cameras and the tools. I still feel normal to this day and you still could live a normal life with just one kidney. By giving away my kidney, he was able to get off of dialysis. Seven months after the surgery, he confessed to cheating. To this day, even after everything he put me through, the heartache, the cheating, the ghosting, I still don't regret donate my kidney to him. And this next one, we have this woman over here who doesn't understand the definition of a feminist. She thinks it could be whatever you want it to be. That's like the most typical answer I've ever heard of in my life. It's not that. That's not what it means at all. It's either one thing or the other, and it doesn't mean that. Feminist is anything you want it to be as a woman. I am promiscuous because I'm a feminist, but you can also be conservative because I'm a feminist. Modern day feminism is about you and what you make it and not what someone 60 years ago said it was. And this is the next one, I guess, on the topic of feminism. I guess we have this woman over here at a comedian show. Now, for some odd reason, feminists can't be at a comedian show. They always get mad at just some jokes. And you have to be able to handle jokes when you're at these kind of shows. They're really insultive, but who cares? That's a funny part in them. Let me just say this woman didn't like it at all. <laughs> And this next one, I've seen this guy so many times riz up insane girls. But I guess he ended up trying to riz up this girl who had a whole boyfriend. I do hope the boyfriend gets to see this because, yes, it is absolutely cheating. I don't care if he's done it to multiple girls. I don't care if it's done just as a joke. He, to be honest, he should have stopped the moment you heard she had a boyfriend. <laughs> I know every beautiful woman in, 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 in the country, and I don't know you. I'm Salva. Lovely yeah, to meet lovely you. Lovely to meet you. You got really nice teeth. Thank you. Which are not real. No, I got veneers. I actually like how I look, to be honest. I like how you look as well. Thank you. I was expecting that one. Follow me then. I actually do have a boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend now? Where's he from? He's Indian. The ex was Lebanese. Yeah. Your current is Indian. And your next is Diego. <laughs> it's got really nice eyes. Thank you. You're really good at this eye contact though. It's just a bit of confidence. I don't, I don't know why people struggle so much. When you stare into each other's eyes, you create some sort of like bond or connection. Absolutely. Maybe it's not confidence. Maybe I just... Like looking at beautiful big brown, get lost. You look so cheeky. Lost in a I love it. Alright, so let's change the fact that you don't follow me on Instagram. Go for it. Come here. What? Taking a selfie. Oh, would you look at that? Don't we look okay. nice? I need that so I can show my mum my future wife. <laughs> Lovely to see you. I love, you. I love your videos. Thank you. I'm following you now. I miss you. And this next one, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't make any sense to me. This guy is saying this woman is absolutely horrible for leaving her man when he had no money. Now, yes, I do 100% agree leaving your man when he's broke is so sad, but you can't kind of blame them because women always like to follow leaders. I always preach on this channel that men should always try to be the leader as much as possible. They shouldn't get into relationships when they don't have money because it is really hard to lead a woman when you don't have anything to back it up. But this man is trying to say that you can still be a leader without any money. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm kind of conflicted. Money like you with ESTG. Why don't you? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's why I got. Uh, I had it. Uh. Just because he ain't had no money, you love him? Had to. That ain't right. I don't like that. If he's making more money than me, I mean, if I'm making more money than him, I don't. You man. should help him get some more money. I should. How am I going to do that, though? If I have my own career, I'm doing what I'm doing. It's supposed to, a woman's supposed to be a helpmate. I feel like a man is supposed to be that for a girl. A man's supposed to be a leader. You're right. You're supposed to help him be a better leader. I don't know. So I was in the wrong. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. Are you looking for a daddy? I ain't looking for a daddy. I got my own money. I got my own money. I could do what I do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need a guy for money. But you want one. I want a man to be stable. If I was to leave him, I want him to so be... So he, he wasn't stable? Um, He was okay, but I was making more than him. So he was, But he was stable, though. 
<laughs> I guess. Yeah. So why are you leaving then? You say you just want Because he wasn't doing better than me. I need a guy doing better than me. And if he's not doing better than me, then... No, I guess on that topic, these are women that I don't agree with because women kind of overdo it. These women do some kind of OnlyFans money. They're like, you know, independent women. But you can't correlate or compare OnlyFans money to an actual business or a successful high value man who made himself because it's just not the same. It's like drug dealer money and just, you know, regular business money. You can't compare the two. You want to no deal with guys that's paying bills. I am a gold digger. I don't care. Like, I'm already doing 100% perfectly by myself. fine by myself. Exactly. So if you want to come into my life and get my time and get my effort mm -hmm. my energy you need to be offering something yeah. and honestly i feel like every guy cheats i've been cheated on and i was paying for everything in the <gasps> relationship. and this next one i do not like this question at all i don't like how women are able to answer this question so quickly basically they get asked who would you cheat on your boyfriend with like a celebrity crush they start to give their answers pretty quickly they're not hesitant at all and do i think this is a red flag yeah absolutely this just goes to show that women will literally leave you for a successful man and that's absolutely insane and horrible celtics player would you cheat on your boyfriend with Jason Tatum. Tatum. I don't know any of them. Marcus Smart. Uh, Jalen Brown. Let me think. Let me think. Jason. Jason Tatum. Oh my god! I follow him on Instagram. Hold on. Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown. Probably Marcus Smart. Al Horford if he didn't have kids and a wife. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> Sneaky Jalen Brown. She did it right in front of her boyfriend. She knows her boyfriend's like hearing it, and she still did it. She did it to piss him off. Like, why would you still do that? You have no respect for him. And look at him being quiet in the background, like he doesn't care. When in reality, oh, he knows deep down this absolutely sucks to hear. Williams. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not familiar with the Celtics players, but I love all of them, and I think they're gonna win. Can you give me a hint? <laughs> I got nothing. Um, 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 the one with the ball. Can you name another Celtics player? No. And this is actually, I guess this woman decides to give her experience of talking to a really nice guy, except I guess he just wasn't packing at the end. And you can't blame her for leaving him. Like what? You want her to suck it up or something? It just makes no sense, to be honest. Having this guy on Hinge from London. Oh. Super, super fine. Green eyed Indian dude. He comes in from London to New York like every two months. Mm. We go on a date like every two months. Oh. Eventually, after a year of dating every two months, after 12 I oh, see six. a and he's got a small and this next one i guess this girl decides to approach random people asking them for their heights the man in the beginning tried simping so hard like come on now that was so sad what are you six one you're a lot really yeah. oh never mind and you have a car like that impressive what i tell people i'm five six i'm actually five. why do you say you're taller i just want to be tall why no you're very pretty you don't need to be taller no, I'm not. I, I look like a lesbian. In this next one, is this really hard to ask for? This is not like slavery. This is not what feminists should be against. I think this is just such a beautiful thing, and it's so simple to make a man so happy. He just comes home with food. Like, how easy should that be? It's not hard to do this. Are you really willing to work 40 hours at a company that doesn't care about you instead of doing this? Like, I don't know. I just find it so difficult to understand. This is one thing that I love about my wife. Every day I get off work, I come home to this, y'all. Every single day. All right, y'all. Uh, let's see. I'm about to see what she... If she did it or not today, yo, but I'm pretty sure she did. She do it every day. She do it every day. She do it every day, y'all. All right, y'all, so that's the treatment you get, right? You be a good husband, your wife gonna take care of you, y'all. This is how my wife do me every single day. There's something that she don't have to do. This is what I get every day. I get this treatment every single day I get off work. She do this for me every day. That's one of the reasons why I love my wife a lot. And this next one, I guess we have this woman over here. She ends up finding out that her man ended up leaving her for a new girl. Meanwhile, they still live together, but they, I guess, are still exes. I don't get it, to be honest. Maybe you tried kicking ground multiple times and she wouldn't leave, so you decided to bring a girl over. Let me know what you guys think. The ex is mad because I brought a new girl home after I found out she cheated. No, just like how you sent a letter saying, please, You, you said, leave the f***ing house. Leave the f***ing I'm losing my shit. I need her to get out. Get the f out. Now! I don't care if you're recording this. Get the f out. Get out of my house. I'm calling the neighbors. I own 60% of the house. I need this Somebody please call the police immediately. Okay, I should call. Well, that's what we have so much for watching, guys. In the next one, take care. Peace.